Okay, story time real quick before we get into the video. I had another video planned for today, which I asked on Twitter your favorite songs so that I could react to your favorite songs because I don't listen to a lot of music and then I would recommend you books based on that song. That video is still coming, but but my friends, we lost the clip so it's going to be kind of a disaster and I couldn't edit it and get it up on time. So that video is coming on Friday, but today we have a rapid fire video tag. So let's get right to it. I like, I like how I did that really fast because it's like rapid fire. Yeah. I embarrass myself on the internet. Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. Just as a reminder, I am still doing a q and A. I, um, if you want to leave questions down here, if you want to leave questions up in the video where I announced it, which by the way, I cut out the part where I said that I was doing a Q&A, so just leave questions anywhere, Twitter, here, DM me. Um, you know, you're all smart people, you can get me questions, but today I decided that I'm going to do a rapid fire video book tag. Now this book tag, this particular tag was started by a girl reading and I was tagged my, my bestie, my one and only, my ride or die, Jessie the bookish mom, link up here. So let's just get this done, I want to get this done fast because I ramble. You know, you're here. My videos are like 40 minutes long. I like to ramble. So we're going to keep this short. We're going to try to keep it's already been 2 minutes. We're going to do this. All right. So let's see. Rapid fire book tag questions. Okay. Let me get some ready. By the way, did you notice I'm not wearing black? Mhm. Mm All right. Let's do this. So, ebook or physical book? I actually prefer ebooks. Paperback or hardback? Paperback all the way. Online or in-store book shopping? In-store book shopping. Did I just say in-store book shopping? I meant online book shopping. I, I like to peruse in-store, but I will actually take pictures of the books and then buy them online. I'm weird like that. All right. Trilogies or series? Neither. 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 Standalone. Standalones all the way. But if I have to pick, I would pick trilogies because it's one less book than a series. I, also, trilogies are series, aren't they? It's a weird question. Heroes or villains? Villains all the way. If you're watching The Boys, my favorite character is Homelander. And I know that says a lot about me, but yeah, I really love villains. So when, when a villain is really well written, it's so good. But heroes are just heroes. Although Luke Skywalker is my favorite, was my favorite character in Star Wars. So I, I was trying to do this fast. A book you want everyone to read, Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Easy, easy. Recommend an underrated book, The Long Walk by Stephen King or Richard Bachman, whatever you want. Uh, the last book you finished, um, a Mexican Gothic. I always say American Gothic, I'm so sorry, by Silvia Moreno Garcia. The last book you bought, oh, um, oh, oh, the last one in the Sleeping Giant series. I bought that one. I shouldn't have, but I bought it because I wanted to have the whole series because I want to finish it. So I don't remember what it's called. Here's a picture. Weirdest thing you have used as a bookmark? My glasses. I, I, I literally have stuffed my glasses into a book and used that as a bookmark. Used book, yes or no? Yes, except that I can't get them really. And if I'm going to pay the same amount for a used book or a new book, I'm probably going to buy the new book. So I guess I would love to say that I'm a used book buyer, but the reality is I'm a new book buyer. Top three favorite genres? Sci-fi? horror, and uh, this post-apocalyptic this post count. I think it counts. Oh, Dark Academia. Here we go. Sci-fi, horror, and Dark Academia. Bam. Done. Good. Borrow or buy? Buy. I don't like borrowing books. I always feel like I have to be extra careful with them and it's just a mess. So I don't like uh, borrowing books. Characters or plot? Character all the way. I have said this before. I'm a character driven reader. If I don't connect to the characters, even if the plot is the most amazing plot in the like history of plot dumb, I, I'm just not going to connect with the book that I, I, I need to connect with the characters. It needs to be character driven for me. Long or short books? <laughs> you know the answer to this. I like short books. I don't like long books. Since the girl that loves Dune. But you know, whatever. Long or short chapters? Uh, short chapters. Name the first three books you can think of. Dune, Born, and... <laughs> Do you dream of Terror 2 by Demi? <laughs> Which happens to be my favorite books 
of all time. They were the first ones that came to mind. Books that made you laugh, books that make you laugh or cry. I do not like, uh, I do not like comedy in general. It's really hard to make me laugh and I just don't like it. I don't like it, so I would rather books that make me cry. Which, I mean, doesn't mean that I like to cry. I just, yeah. Our world or fictional worlds? Our worlds in the future? <laughs> Fictional worlds, fictional worlds. Audiobooks, yes or no? I understand if you don't like audiobooks. We're not going to get into the whole, is audiobooks reading? Audiobooks is reading, and yes from me. Like, everything I read is audiobook lately. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? I always judge a book by its cover. If a book has an ugly cover, I will not buy it. Judge me if you will, but I, I judge a book by its cover. Mo book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Ugh. I, book to movie, book to movie, yeah. I, 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 I don't want to spend my time watching a, 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 a series, so I just book to movie adaptation. A movie or TV show you prefer to its book? We've been through this, we've been through this, uh, The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings, I, I still don't like the movie, but I prefer it to the actual act of reading that, those books, so. There we go, The Lord of the Rings. Series or standalones? Standalones! Listen to me. Let's do more standalones. Let's do all the standalones. For, for always. And forever. Whew. Well, that was pretty good. That was pretty fast. I got this video under 10 minutes. So you know what? I think that that's a good video for a Wednesday. Now, uh, before I go, I am thinking of starting a little bit of a series where on Tuesdays I do Tuesday Talks, where I tell you about my week, you know, about what I've been reading, what I read during the weekend. I would do it on Monday, but I already upload videos on Mondays. But I want to upload a video where I just talk about my life, where I talk about what I'm reading, where I tell you what I've DNF'd, you know, kind of like a catch-up thing. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But otherwise, that's it from this one. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment down below, and let me know what you thought about this video and this rapid fire, and I'm like talking really fast. So, without any further ado, I bid you adieu, and I leave you with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays without fail, and now maybe Tuesdays or Sundays or Mondays, I don't know. I do post on Mondays, but anyway, I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much. Bye.